By my uh, classification, I'm in the position to pull rank. And I don't think I should just pull rank. You should work it out where it's some sort of democratic kind of uh, approach. And uh, the ego thing comes into it, where, where you just don't want, you want to work with the person, understand them enough, and then you deal with it and see whether or not his ego is going to be too hard to deal with. If they're really dead set on something, and I think it's absurd, uh, you know, that can, there can be fights at times. Not the kind of fights where, you know, we're not going to speak to each other for three days, but we'll probably get into a heavy discussion. We'll probably eventually, if he keeps on saying it, go the way that, let's say, he wants to do it, and then we'll see whether it's right or not. And I'll give him a big, I told you so, after it doesn't work out. Whatever the approach was, you know, those da -da -da, they were working. There was a pattern you could hear that got through. This one got a little a bit too jazzy, um, <laughs> avant-garde, if it were. Avant-garde? Um, so that got a little crazy. And then the other okay. little non-tightness in the band is, is the thing. Yeah. Uh, the speed was good, though. See, now we're not now we're not racing on yeah. to finish the song. Yeah, it's, that's, I'm it's, sort of concentrating on the speed and losing. Yeah, all right, well, need well here's to pick the thing. Up the fills now. Yeah, right, and don't worry about, don't think about that part until, it com until you come to it, because if we get the rest of the song right, you know. After technical problems in Melbourne, the whole operation was moved at short notice to this Sydney studio. Here, the lead vocal and extra guitar solos were recorded. That song is sort of short and sweet. It's messagey, but there, there's a tremendous amount of, um, well, I don't know, I just like this, the whole setup. The whole setup on, on uh, Life in the Modern World with the verses is really interesting. The way, you know, the way it reads with the line, headline, breadline, so forth. And um, so that kind of really good lyric, really intelligent, you know, uh, uh, sort of lyric in, in a heavy metal song is real nice. We got pocket calculators. We got cybernetic refrigerators. We got men on the moon. We got your padded room. We got tax exiles. We got C2M missiles. We got nuclear power. We got the Catholic hour. We got Okay, you want to come in and have a listen? You got enough? Yeah, I think so. Right. Put in your velvet, it'll come out in mist. You want to wash it and change your dress. You can spend dry on the blue beauty. Call your friends, not try to keep the peach. Don't take your lyrics to the long back. I'll tell you, brother. Don't take your new rags to the laundry mat. If your suit's all dirty, then I'm sorry if I'll find. Don't take your new rags to the laundry mat. Or take her surfer to the snow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Place 
Go. When I was living in St Kilda, I always, I always used to go to the laundromat. Uh, you know, sort of weekly occurrence for, for me and for millions of other people, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know. That was sort of a synthesis because uh, I used to wear, still do wear lots of uh, funny sort of stage clothes and so on. And to get them clean is, cleaned is quite a. Uh, well, you, I mean, you have to go to the dry cleaners and, and do all that sort of stuff. You can't just throw them in with your jeans. The message, I mean, you know, as far as Lurex is concerned, uh, if they're going to chant something like the warning of you can't really trust, you know, modern technology, Texan kind of accent, whatever it is. So, don't take your Lurex to the along the back. I'll tell you, brother, that's not where it's at. Don't take your Lurex to the along the back. Three, four.